welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy dedicated don't forget to like comment and subscribe mati bibi but you will video chale pin this i'm going to tell you something that just happened to me chale women fear them and this isn't about normal broken heart it's way more complicated hey i won't die Pains. Pains. P -D -D -T. Pains. I am a young rich guy. I'm now almost 30 years. The source of my riches is rituals. I have some few years to live. Now, how I got into this ritual shit and what my wife tell me right there, I won't die self. <laughs> I wasn't always the ritualist I am now. I completed UG. I didn't take school seriously, so I have to drop out. I didn't have money. I was broke as fuck. My dad even disowned me because I had become a black sheep in the family. Because all my siblings, my siblings were good in school. My senior brother was also doing well in his field. One time, I met this fine girl when I went out with my friends. I took her number and we started mingling. Immediately, I knew I had found the love of my life. I started testing this girl for like three weeks and I proposed and she became my girlfriend. I was in love, Charlie. I could do anything for this girl. Now we have dated like about three years and we are both of coming age and we needed to get married. Her parents knew me and we are always asking when I will get married to her. Now my dad has disowned me, so I was literally on my own. Home. One to help me with money for marriage. And my mom too wasn't really having money and I couldn't go and ask my brothers or my sister for money to marry because only my senior brother was married. The rest we are in school and now starting life. I became so uneasy. I tried my best and by the next year I was able to marry the girl. In fact me. Marrying this girl was the best and the worst decision I have ever made. I love this girl. Eh? I swear to God that I have never loved anyone like that before. Now we were married, but I was jobless. I had no source of money. I was virtually beat. Fred by my wife. Charlie two years into the marriage and my wife got pregnant. E, I was happy, but Charlie then I was sad and broke. We even afford and then tired and things. And pregnancy craving too then things. One night my wife sat me down. She told me that the life we were living, she can't take it. To find a way of getting money because we were all going to have it, kid, and I was going to have a big responsibility. She said, If it's for cry, I <laughs> I should do it. Me too, I had no scammers as friends, so, so I got into contact with one guy I met somewhere in a pub. I told him my situation, told him that I want him to teach me. He agreed, he started teaching me, but my wife was few weeks then give birth. In Charlie, one month, the scam wasn't paying at all. I hadn't gotten anything, so I decided to forget. I was thinking so much to an extent sometimes the whole day I forgot to eat. Then I was invited for a wedding. My, my wife couldn't go because of the pregnancy. I read the place and during the wedding, I met my old friend from SHS. We were good friends back then. I saw that Charlie had made money. I asked him to show me the way and he agreed. We exchanged numbers and by next week we were start, we started vibing. But this guy didn't want to show me his source money. I quickly reminded him of his promise. He told me to come to his house. My wife had about three weeks left to give birth to. I went to his house directly. He told me that Charlie, he wasn't doing anything better. He's a ritualist. That's why he didn't want to tell me because he's afraid of what I would say. He told me if I'm interested, I should let him know that he would take me to his house. I went home, told my wife, and she thought of it, and she told me to join him. I agreed and went to see him. What else are you? What else are you? When I went to see him, he took me to one guy, and you know how this ritual stuff goes. They tell you you can't go back then. Since I still agree, they didn't take anything from me. All I did was use a pen that has been put into a blood, and I signed a paper. Then they took it. That was it. They told me to wait and they gave me a sack when I opened it. E money, come and see. I thought it was fake. I checked the money, Charlie. Genuine notes. The money I didn't finish. I 
couldn't finish counting but it was 200,000 plus. He told me that I was to count for money every week for four years. I was like, why four years? And they said, that was how long I have to live. Italy, I was sad and happy all together. But at least, my wife was in... Mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Last one. Hey, Randy. Okay. This with me, so I was cool. I went home, told my wife everything. She cried, but eventually, I told him to stop and let us enjoy the money. I started living big. Charlie, my wife gave birth to a girl who is now two years old. I love my daughter so much, and also love my wife, or at least I did. Now I have used up two years, and I have two years more. Now yesterday I was thinking of me going to die and all of this stuff and my wife saw me and I asked her that if I were to die would she, she marry again? Guys she told me boldly to my face yes I thought she was joking she said no she was serious and I told her after all that we have been through she told me she didn't force me into this e, you know it was her opinion that made me get into this I am Basa I know she chops her she told me I am stupid to have done that Charlie I am more than depressed. Emma, 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 yeah. I'm in pain. I'm still thinking of this. And I just can't phantom it. E, I've wasted my life on someone who doesn't even care. Now I can't divorce her because of my daughter. If I do, she will spill my secret. Just speechless. So I met this nice guy at school during the Easter holidays. We talked and had some drinks. I told him what I do, and he also told me he's a branch manager at CCG. I instantly fall for him. We hook up, and I accepted his proposal. I decided to visit him at his workplace one day after picking up my car at the mechanic. So he sent me his Google location, which I followed. Guys, me call Yenu. Sano or Tom prepaid. A quanu Tom prepaid. E my heart. <laughs> we have come to the end of this episode. Let's have an interaction. What do you do when you fall for a girl who is in a relationship? Don't forget to drop a comment at the comment section. Like share and subscribe thank you